I'm a little bit excited about this next one. Um, it's the People's Choice Award. So without further ado, I'd like you to join me please in welcoming Derek Wilson to the stage from Red Hat. Um, Derek will pre be presenting the Open Source People's Choice Award 2016. Welcome, Derek. That's a lot of pressure. Best of all, now I'm lucky I'm presenting, there's seven people in the awards tonight, so you're going to have to listen to me for a couple of minutes. But uh, first of all, I just want to say that from a Red Hat perspective, it's great to be back at the Open Source Awards. Um, Don talked to me a few months ago, Don Christie, and said, why aren't you guys here? And I said, well, I'm not really sure. We should be. And so we're back, and we're really pleased. And uh, we contribute a lot to the open source community. About half of our 10,000 people globally are actually upstream engineers computing, you know, contributing to Linux, to OpenStack, etc. So very happy to be here. Um, so the first finalist tonight um, is Brent Wood. And um, Brent's been nominated for his services to uh, the geospatial open source in New Zealand. He's been working and promoting open source and geospatial for around 25 years. Uh, lots of contributions to FOSS and GIS, GIS etc. The second one is Digital New Zealand, the National Library. Um, and they really um, developed an initiative that helps people find and share and use New Zealand digital content. Um, and they've been using open source technologies since they, since they started. Um, they've got something like, I believe, 29 million New Zealand photos, audio and video, video files online. Next one is um, Douglas Bagnall, who does a lot of stuff I really don't understand. Uh, <laughs> but um, his contribution to open source spy software, and I think as our speaker mentioned earlier, that his, his, his uh, Caravel FX um, software, which has won lots of awards, um, he won a thing called the Clef slash pan author identification competition. Who knows what that is? He does, yeah, so I don't. But uh, very successful in the uh, security side of things. So um, the next one is Land Information New Zealand. Um, they've been um, completing open source licensing guidance for public sector agencies for, for a number of years. And their NZ Goal Open Data Program um, has really been, um, you know, quite a, a, a new and um, a good thing within the open source community um, as far as sharing policies and data, etc. So it, it's going to, in the future, it's going to un unlock a lot of um, significant value, hopefully, for agencies and taxpayers. The next one is the Office for the Privacy Commissioner for a thing called Privomatic. Um, and they know that many small businesses and organisations in New Zealand um, have privacy statements that are required by law on their websites and their applications. And they've produced a tool which is user-friendly and helps businesses to become compliant. Um, next one is Sensible. And Sensible is an open source Internet of Things project which was established by the Fab Lab in Christchurch. And as we heard before, enables cyclists to collect meaningful data that will help inform policy decisions around um, cycling infrastructure. And I'm hoping it's going to speed up the, the Harbour Bridge crossing a little bit. So we'll, we'll wait and see. So, a bit controversial. Um, and finally, the Cacophony Project. We've heard about this before, bringing birds on back, bringing birds on back to New Zealand. Um, and it's great that people are using modern IT tools to actually bring something great back to the environment. So there's the, there's the nominations. So I'll find the right envelope. Yeah, we have controversy. We've got a, a first for the New Zealand Open Source Awards. We have two winners. The votes were that close that we actually had a tie for the winners. So I'd like to welcome Brent Wood and the Office of the Privacy Commission up to the stage, please.
go first then. Uh, hi, I'm Tim Henwood. Um, I, I used to work for the Office of the Privacy Commissioner and I don't anymore. Um, I'm working for Liz now, helping unleash the power of data. But um, <laughs> I, I ran the project to put Privmatic together and really um, we owe a great deal of thanks to Rabid that helped us build it. And personally, I'd like to thank Brenda who helped teach me GitHub um, very, very patiently and, and uh, helped me get to grips with handlebars um, because we ran out of coding time and I had to take over. But um, it's, it was a really important project for us because privacy goes hand in hand with open source quite well. Um, privacy, the, the way I see it at least, is it's about uh, giving control back to people, giving them control over their own information and giving them the ability to exercise that control in the face of technology or business or government that might diminish their control of, of uh, their information. And open source is the, the philosophy behind it, it is about that transparency and it is about giving people control and power uh, to do things with information. So hopefully it's the first of many open source projects at OPC. So cheers. Thank you. Hi. I'm not Brent Wood. Uh, I'm Daniel Rurick. Um, uh, and Brent has asked me to uh, speak on his behalf. So Brent's given me a few words here. Uh, speaking as Brent, I apologise for not being here. I'm currently on a fishing trawler somewhere south of the Chatham Islands surveying fishing stocks. Sorry, fish stocks, which makes travel a little bit difficult. I've worked with Daniel, that's me, for many years. <laughs> Yeah, in the early days of the Welly Lake, I've, I've had a long association with Brent. I think it goes back to around 2001-ish, uh, um, or well, certainly 2002. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and also in the New Zealand Open Source Society, yeah, and he's appreciative that I've stood in for him. Yeah, he, yeah, he wants to express his thanks for the initial nomination, which was the first step in getting here, uh, and, you know, he wants to thank those that uh, nominated him. Um, it was more than he expected, uh, and uh, particularly to make finalist in two categories, which was a real surprise to him. The second thanks is to Catalyst, without whose tireless support for open source in New Zealand, we would not be here. And open source would, would not be the New Zealand success story it is. And Lorne and the Silicon Computers team, who uh, wonderfully helped with his, us with Installfest for the Wellington Linux User Group and the New Zealand Open Source Society, um, uh, uh, um, sorry, <clears throat> you know, and you know they made it be things of the distant past, but they are still sponsoring open source events, which is fantastic. Uh, Brent would also like to acknowledge support for, the, for his current employer, Niwa, uh, for using and supporting the wider use of open source software and open standards in New Zealand. However, uh, he wants uh, most importantly to thank, uh, uh, thank everybody involved uh, with the comment popularised by Isaac Newton. I've, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. He goes on to say, the work I have done within the open source spatial community in New Zealand and elsewhere has only been possible due to the great software developers, uh, the great software that developers have created, others have tested and yet others documented and all continually to strive to improve. This award is for recognition for the whole community and the work we all do, not just one individual. My task has largely been to highlight what others are doing, and the quality of their work makes this the easy job. I think one aspect of my nomination, of Brent's nomination, 
uh, is unusual in the open source uh, in the software arena, and perhaps could only happen with op within open source. Brent doesn't write code. He's not a developer or a programmer. Yet to have been nominated and made it to finalist in two categories of these software awards, Brent doesn't know of many situations in the wider software industry where someone who is essentially an enth enthusiastic user can be a finalist for such an award. This is a true reflection of the open source community, a, welcome, a welcoming community with room for anyone who wants to join. So Brent goes on to say, thank you from me and from the rest of the open source geospatial community. One big global happy family he is proud to be a member of and he accepts this award on their behalf. Well done.